assalamu alaikum friends my name is muhammad jinas and i am auto technical developer so in the previous video we have discussed and we have added a new field to the model using the custom add-on so we have created a custom module and then we have added a model a field in the model so in this video we are going to show the that field in this form view so for this purpose we need to uh, inherit this uh, form view and then we need to use uh, the export to add uh, the field in this view so first of all uh, what we need to do is uh, go to the py charm so inside the py charm we need to add a new directory to define the files related to the views so we have added a directory to define the files related to the models which uh, are uh, python files and then in order to define the uh, uh, views file uh, which is of type xml so we need to add a new uh, directory which is views okay and then inside the views we need to add the file uh, which should be like uh, the same name which is uh, the product so as the customization is related to the product uh, model so it should be product dot xml product dot xml okay and it will be added like this and then here we need to add uh, the structure like this odoo and then close and then uh, sorry first we need to add xml okay here we need to add utf8 then odoo and then data okay like this okay and here we need to uh, inherit the view okay so how we can do it so let me just explain it step by step so using the debug mode what we have done is to open the form view from here and then we have added the field directly here in this view but in in case of custom add-ons what we need to do is to inherit this model uh, this view so how we can do it so here is the external id which is the important Thing that you need to keep in mind so whenever you want to inherit any view and want to add any uh, fields or uh, you want to add ch make any changes in this view so you need to use this uh, view so uh, in this uh, external ID there are two parts so the first part before the dot is the name of the module where this view is defined and the second part is the ID of this uh, uh, of this view so if you copy this uh, view and then uh, we go to the Udo default add-ons and then here at the bottom we search for uh, the product module so let me go here this is the product module and then we open it so as i already told you that the views related files are defined inside the views directory so we need to search uh, right click here and then find in files and then uh, paste uh, the id of the view so here we need to change uh, the file extensions to xml and here this is the id this is the view that we need to inherit so let me open it by double click here so let me close this section so this is the whole view uh, until this one so let me copy the whole view from here okay and then i will show you what we need to do so copy the whole view and then paste it here first thing is this and then uh, in order to properly format it just copy every uh, just select everything and go to code and here you need to click reformat the code so the code will be reformatted automatically okay so what things we need to keep here so we just need to remove this uh, two lines we need to remove the priority we need to remove a mode primary okay and then we need to remove everything inside this take so uh if you go here this this everything we need to remove until this x path okay we need to remove this x path also like this and this one and this is the uh, id external id and here is the inherited id so in this case we want to inherit this view so we need to copy this view and then we need to paste it here because we want to inherit this view and 
this should be the module name like in this case it is product so it should be same okay here is the uh, name of the mo uh, view which you can uh, change if you want here is the model which should be the same so like we want to add the field inside product or template so we are going to inherit the view of the product or template and here we need to add one thing which is uh, x path so x path is actually used uh, to uh, to identify the field where we want to add this new field so we need to use x path to uh, to define the position of the field so here like in uh, like the format of the x path is something like x um, you can say x path expr is equal to and double uh, forward slash and then here we need to add um, something like uh, what is at the take name it is field and field and then uh, this breakers and then under uh, at the rate and then the attribute so what is the attribute attribute is name so you need to use the attribute which should be unique so in this case uh, default code is unique so we need to use a default code is uh, equal to default code so you need uh, so we are saying to the code to find uh, the field position default code and then we need to define uh, that it add it after default code and here we need to define our field our custom field field name is equal to uh, so this is the way to add a custom field field and then name is equal to uh, the name of the field which we have added in the model sorry like this name of the field inside this codes and then close the tag so this is it and then the next step is uh like uh go to our custom item so the next step is to add this file inside this uh, manifest so here as i told you that i will explain this data um, parameter so here the data parameter is to add all the views file inside this data parameter so here we need to define the full path so here we need to add views and then uh, forward slash and then the file name product dot xml extension and then karma so this is how we can add a file and a view file inside the data uh, parameter okay so as we have made the changes inside the uh, the xml file so we don't need to restart Udo service because the Udo service restart is only needed if you made any changes inside the py files or uh, python files but in case of uh, in case of xml changes you need to uh, upgrade the module so in order to upgrade the module go to the apps uh, search for the module which you have and then here click here on these three dots and then click the upgrade button so if there is any issue or there, there are any error in this module then you it will throw up the error messages if there is no error then it will uh, upgrade the module successfully and then we need to restart refresh this page uh, to see the new added field okay so uh, we cannot see it still okay let me uh, find out what the problem is okay so one thing we need to keep in mind is that we have made the changes inside the py file so we need to restart auto service and once we restart auto service then we need to upgrade the module okay go to apps search for the module uh, od product sorry od product and upgrade the module okay so after the module update you will see the changes inside the view let me refresh the page so here you can see the computer processor uh, field has been added so if we add something here computer processor
like this so it will be added and you can save it so this is how it works so if you go to the uh, form view again and here if you go to the inherited views you will see that odoo uh, product code odoo product module has been uh, this view has been inherited in this module and the module view looks like this so this is how you can find all the inheritance uh, related to the views so in order to uh, discuss about the position attribute if we go here and add uh, before so currently it is uh, uh, after the default code this is actually the default code and uh, you can see here default code so currently it is after the default code so if you want to add before the default code you just need to change this uh, to before okay and then uh, go to apps like here search for the custom module which is odoo product product upgrade the module okay and let me refresh it so it will be it will show it before the internal reference internal reference is actually the technical name of it is uh, barcode so here you can see it has been added before uh, the internal reference so this is how you can inherit uh, a view and uh, how you can create a custom module so in the upcoming videos we will discuss more about the customization of Udo and how to customize a different feature so uh, if you enjoyed this video please give you gives a huge thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you